The given equation is second order linear non-homogeneous differential equation and the given uh, the general solution to this equation is going to be sum of a uh, solution to the similar homogeneous differential equation and particular solution which satisfies a non-homogeneous equation. So we're going to start with an equation of form a times y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equals to zero, and we assume that the solution uh, that the solution of the form e to the power of alpha t. So we, we write the equation with y equals to e to the power of alpha t. So that's going to be e to the power of alpha t double prime minus two times e to the power of alpha t prime and plus e to the power of alpha t and equals to zero. So now we can take out the common factor which is e to the power of alpha t and times alpha squared minus two alpha and plus one equals to zero. Therefore we get that alpha equals to one with multiplicity of two. So for one real root alpha, the general solution takes the form c1 times e to the power of alpha t plus c2 times t times e to the power of alpha t and in our case it's going to be c1 e to the power of t plus c2 t times e to the power of t so now uh, from the given conditions we get that particular solution gonna be 3 e to the power of x times x squared minus cosine of x and over 2 and therefore the general solution will be look as c1 e to the x power plus c2 times x times e to the x power and plus 3 e to the x power times, times x squared minus cosine of x and over 2. That's going to be our answers.